Now we are at Jolly World, another familiar name to those of us in the industry. Jolly World is a world leading backsheet producer and also a top N type mono bifacial cell producer. Its N type top count technology has found wide application around the world. We hear that the company is planning to release its newer series of high power modules at SNEC this year. Let's find out more. We are delighted to be joined now by Zhifeng Liu, Vice General Manager. Welcome to PV Tech's coverage of SNEC 2021. We realize you are busy, but our international viewers will be interested in hearing your views on a few areas. So let's get straight to the questions. The first question is, Untyped technology has gone up over the past two years, and Jolly World is a leading company in this area. Could you tell us a little bit about how you have developed the technology in terms of efficiency, capacity layout, planning, and the technology route? Uh, thank you for the PV Tech's interview. Uh, I'm honored to, give this, to have this opportunity to introduce Jolly Wood and our Untyped technology. Jolly Wood has been engaged in the production of R&D of N-type bifacial solar cells for more than six years and has been shipped N-type solar module over 4.1 gigawatt all over the world. Many projects around the world use our N-type bifacial modules, include, include China Top Round Project, uh, Middle East Project, and some large scale power station. Currently, N-topcon technology has been come has become a hub spot in the market and is also considered to be developing the di direction of the next generation technology. Jollywood cannot achieve, cannot achieve such a success without so many years of the preservation in the field of PV market. Facing the window period of on-top technology development, we will seize the opportunity of to achieve de develop a new technology and lay out new production capacity. At the present, we have achieved a mass production efficiency uh, is about 24.5% in mass production. And in the next year, we hope we can achieve the efficiency exceed, exceed 25%. And for the capacity, for the next year, Jollywood will expand our n top cell solar cell capacity to about uh, uh, 19.6 gigawatt. The second question is, what are your main products at uh, SNEC this year? What is special about them? Uh, currently, uh, large size of silicon wafer is a trend of in the uh, industry development in the market. The module used uh, uh, M10 G12 wafer has become a popular new star in the pure star industry. And the new products uh, which released which released in the snack is the Niwa Max, and the module power is uh, 700 watt, and use our top count technology, based on the uh, GTF wafer. Uh, the launch of this production will guarantee the low LCOE for our customer, and we hope the Niwa Max can bring greater value to our customer in the future and promote the earlier arrival of the carbon neutrality and the emission peak. Thank you. Thank you. What is your own view of the different opinions on N-type technology routes? Topcon, HAT, IBC? And why has Jolly World selected Topcon? What do you see as the next step? Uh, it is a good question and it is difficult to answer because you know our customers have uh, their uh, they are techn technology roadmap, and uh, at the present, uh, I think uh, for the largest secure power station are still are still the main demand of the PV market, according to the more than uh, seventy percent of the glo global market from China. As for the as for the ground power station, the investment uh, income uh, and the LCOE is the primary factor to design the, the investment of power station. So, how to minimize the, L the LCOE of the power station is our ultimate demand for the product the research and the development and the manufacture, as well as, as well as the logic that we want to make the product high quality, 
high efficiency, high, high bifidality to uh, get the power station uh, have some gain. <coughs> Compared to the uh, N-type technology like uh, uh, hydrojunction, IBC, and Topcon, we can find that for the Topcon, uh, we have uh, over uh, 4 gigawatt shipment uh, over the world, and it have de demonstrated that our product have the low yield LCOE. You know, in the Middle East, our product have uh, about uh, over one gigawatt shipment in the Middle East. The Middle East is the, uh, the lowest LCOE in the all over the world. Our, our top uh, modules in this, in this market have a very uh, compet competitive to the people uh, solar modules. So I think in the future, top may be a good choice. And uh, it have high efficiency, low cost, and the cost effective in the large scale uh, power station. Thank you. It is said that starting from 2024, N-Type will lead the way in new product investments and it will be regarded as the next generation of advanced mainstream technology. For the moment, do you think this trend is available at CCS Snack? Uh, we can see clearly that uh, for the people solar cell is uh, the mainstream product currently and has an advantage in terms of uh, 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 efficiency and the low, very low cost. But the efficiency have, uh, to, we want to improve the pocket efficiency to exceed 23.5 or 24 is very difficult. So uh, in next, we, uh, other company, other company, top companies uh, focus on the N-type technology, such as Topcon, Hydro Junction solar cell and uh, IBC solar cell. <coughs> and this and this deck, uh, we can find that uh, uh, all the top uh, companies all launched the N type technology. And uh, I find that uh, both the focus on the top con. So, so I think uh, in the future, uh, the top con the top con technology have the low. Uh, lower investment than the Kaito Jiangyi solar cell. And the, for per gigawatt, the investment for the people is, uh, one point, uh, is uh, 150 million. Yeah, yeah but for Topcon, it's just uh, 100, 180 million. So it's very close. So I think in the future, uh, Topcon uh, technology have a uh, big expansion uh, in the pure market, and I think the 2024, uh, I think the uh, Topcon become a mainstream uh, product in the future. I think we the earlier than 2024. Thank you.